Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are going to review guitars under $150. If you are limited on budget or you are just starting your journey, uh, you are probably looking for some affordable guitar which not suck, right? <laughs> and today we are going to answer if it's even possible to find something good in this budget. I found 12 different guitars. That means uh, 12 options for you. Let's don't waste time and let's get started. It may be not an easy task at all to find a guitar in this range. Because even the entry level guitars of such brands like Harley Benton, Ibanez, Epiphone and others, they start at 200 bucks. And that's where a used market will help us a lot. If it's not super important for you to get a new guitar, I would highly recommend you to check local online and offline stores and markets in order to find the right guitar for you in your budget. That's what I've done, and like I mentioned, I found 12 different guitars, different brands and different series, but all of them are under $150. And here they are. We have this Harley Benton Progressive, Dean Vendetta Chord X100 This Rock Rocketeer This Square Bullet Strut Ibanez Geo LTD EC10 Jackson Dinky Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 Harley Benton Standard Mitchell MD200 And last but not least, this Harley Benton Classic Series Some of them are rare, and I was more lucky to find this, while some of them are kind of mass production, such as Ibanez Geo or Jackson Dinky, uh, you can find a lot of them on used market. And I would not consider any unbranded guitar in this kind of top. I made reviews of a bunch of unbranded guitars, uh, you can find the links somewhere here, and of course in the description. So far, I wasn't able to find any unbranded guitar without defects. All of them require some extra effort and your money. That's why I did not include them here. But if you want to risk, <laughs> that's your choice. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I bought all of these guitars for my own money. And I would really appreciate if you like this video, if you'll find this helpful. And of course, if you want to support me, uh, you can subscribe on my Patreon, a link in the description. And this video is more like a brief review of these 12 guitars. As if I would go deeper into the details of each and every guitar, uh, this will become an endless video. No one wants this, right? <laughs> and I will have two rounds with each of these guitars. The first one is more like a meet and greet round. Some kinda. Oh, hello, Mrs. Guitar! Hello! <laughs> so, first round is more like uh, my impression. And it will be hard to judge after this round, because I didn't play these guitars before. That's why I have the second round. After the first cycle, when I played all 12 guitars, I'm going to repeat this again one by one. And what I'm going to do that time, I'm going to say uh, if I like this guitar or not. And at the end, as a result, I will get six guitars. Basically, I will have them. And it's going to be only my opinion based on what I feel, how it plays, how it sounds. And you may have completely different opinion. And let's say if I drop some of those guitars which you like, and if you want to see a full review, let me know in comments. And what's going to happen with those six guitars at the end? We'll have a semi-final then, but it's going to be another video, because again, it will take too long for one day for one video. 
And you can guess, yes, uh, we're going to do the same in that semi-final. And then we'll have a final <laughs> where we'll have uh, three winners. I'll make full review of those three guitars in that the final video. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you won't miss any of those. But before we start it, a couple of words about how I record my guitars. An SM57 microphone looks at the center of 5150 combo speaker. And here are the settings for the clean sound. And here are the gain settings. Microphone is still at the center of the speaker. We switch to the red channel. And I use this noise gate which works only for the right channel on this combo amp. And finally, here's my high gain settings. As you see, microphone is still here, I don't move it anywhere. And still red channel, but I added more gain. Those are my settings. And let's start with this Harley Band and Classic Series. Like I mentioned, first round is more like a quick look and also I played this in two modes, clean mode and high gain mode. I believe it's a kinda uh, Gibson Explorer shape. It has a good neck, so overall sits well. Uh, the one thing I don't like, you cannot just put it down because it falls. <laughs> But that may not be a problem for you, so you can easily hang it on a wall. Yeah, it feels comfortable. And one thing I forgot to mention, I only considered guitars with humbuckers. So at least I need a bridge humbucker. Because I'm playing rock and metal, this is must-have for me. If you're looking for uh, single coil pickups, uh, you'll have the wider choice. Again, a lot of Squire guitars have it, a lot of Ibanez guitars. I didn't include any of them in this video. Let's just plug it in and hear how it sounds, because that's the most important thing, right? gain. Okay, my first impression, I don't like this guitar. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, I probably don't like the sound of a bridge pickup. And also, what I definitely don't like is how it sits. So maybe if I play standing, that would be okay. But when I'm sitting, it's just not comfortable. I don't know, maybe again, if you place it uh, this way, uh, it will be easier for you. But I prefer uh, to uh, have my guitar on my left lap and it's not comfortable because of that shape. But anyway, I'll have the second round, so we'll see if I'll change my mind. And for now, uh, let's switch to the next guitar. And the second one I have, this Harley Benton Standard. It looks really nice. I usually don't like struts, like fenders or squares, uh, but this one looks pretty nice. And good thing they moved this volume knob. <laughs> I hate when the Fender plays it uh, down the bridge pickup. And I feel neck is a little thicker compared to the previous model. And maybe it's a little heavier. And this guitar has a super cool feature for that budget. It has 
active pickups. Both neck pickup and bridge pickup, they're active. They're Harley Benton active pickups. It's really super cool for the guitar under 150 bucks. Uh, to be honest, I did not see anything else in this budget which has active pickups. But let's plug it in and hear how they sound. Switching to bridge. Turned a little high for me. I did not adjust them because it's too many guitars to adjust them all. <laughs> Can I play this in the way how it came to me. Yeah, I would definitely adjust string and set the action uh, if I want to play this guitar. But what I can say, I think I like this, especially compared to the previous one. Uh, it sits very well, it's playing comfortable, so even it has this kind of brick, uh, which I don't like personally uh, for all these bottom guitars. Uh, it still feels good, and active pickups, I think they sound good as well. But we'll see. The next on my list is this Mitchell D200. I think someone upgraded this uh, as it came with the locking tuners and these upgraded strap locks. It also came with a strap. It has uh, this humbucker and single coil pickup. And also, like you see, someone previously put kind of, some kind of stickers and then tried to remove them. Uh, but that's not a problem, again, for the cheap guitar and if you're looking for an instrument uh, to play, not to, let's say, place on a wall, <laughs> that may be a good thing, but we'll see. Let's plug it in and hear how it sounds. And here's the first thing I don't like. You see the cable hits me right on the leg. And it seems someone wanted to fix it. They removed the jack it had before. It's still causing troubles. But let's see. Okay, that's interesting. I don't like neck pickup, but I really like bridge pickup. It sounds good. The other cons is this volume knob, because most often I'm going to play in, on bridge pickup, and so to turn it on or off, I need to do this extra movement. So while again, it would be much better to place it here, at least for me. Not sure if it's a good guitar. Uh, anyway, we'll figure this out. We'll have the second round later. And let's go with the next one. And here the Epiphone guitar. This is a Les Paul Special 2. Looks nice. And uh, someone before me plays these markers on that side. I'm not really sure if there are no any dots at all on that side of the neck. It's just a classic Epiphone guitar, nothing to add, uh, so let's connect it. Mm -hmm. 
bridge. Hmm, not sure. So it sounds well, but probably I still don't like it for some reason. Uh, first of all, I'm not a fan of Les Paul shape, so it's not super comfortable for me. It's kind of good, nothing wrong with it. It's just again my opinion. Uh, but yeah, see, I don't have any kind of explicit concerns. It's more like my gut feeling. And here I have this small Jackson. Uh, probably it's a short scale one. And to be honest, I was looking for a different model. Uh, somehow I mixed this up. But anyway, it's still in the budget. It's under 150. And good thing, it has 24 threads. With that small size, that's kind of surprising. And overall, I like this shape. So let's see how it sounds. And there is a little bus on six string. Like I mentioned, I did not fully set up any of those guitars. See, uh, because it's a kind of season change from summer to the fall and uh, humidity is high in my apartment, I probably need to adjust the neck and set the action. But again, I have a lot of guitars and I don't have so much time for all of this. Uh, I hope this won't affect my feeling, my impression. But let's see. And what I can say, it's much louder than the, all the guitars before, while I'm using the same settings. Maybe it's high output pickups. Which may be good for you, if you're looking for a guitar, let's say, for rock or metal. So, yeah, let's check the bridge pickup. Volume knob is a little tight, uh, and by the way, this guitar is very lightweight, so you, <laughs> you see, it's probably because of its small size, super small size, and not sure what it's made of. Uh, but think what I don't like, because again, maybe of its small size, my hand it just stuck here. So again, if I need to uh, play something here, it may be not super convenient. But again, it's for me. Uh, sounds okay -ish. And guitar number six is ESP LTD EC10. Entry level LTD guitars. Also has this uh, Les Paul shape, but I like this more compared to Epiphone because it has these bevels on the body for my uh, picking hand and for my fretting hand. Also, it's a kind of less break here. It has a bevel here as well on that hand. And I can easily access all the threads. A bit thick neck, but let's see how it plays. Also, most of those guitars I played already, uh, they have not the bad tuners, but not super sharp. It's kind of when you're trying to tune it, so it's flat, 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 and now it's sharp. <laughs> so it's hard to uh, tune it in a pitch. 
but maybe it's because of strings again maybe i need to replace them and maybe i need to play more on these guitars but never mind I think I like this. I like both pickups, bridge and neck pickup. Uh, nothing much to add. Good guitar. Number seven. This Ibanez Geo. Nice looking guitar, by the way. A little dirty. <laughs> it's, it's especially easy to see because it's white. And string set a little high, maybe two millimeters for the six string. And someone used this tremolo. Again, I did not change anything, just tune this. As usual, starting from the neck pickup. That's good. Bridge pickup. Good guitar. Nothing more to add. Nice shape, nice sound. Let's see what else I have. Five more to go. Here the square. And to be honest, I like this. I like the shape, I like the color. <laughs> As usual, I had this brick. And of course, I had this volume knob. But let's see how it sounds. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I don't like this uh, Fender kind of struts like guitars. Because uh, every time you're playing on the lower strings, on the first, second or third, or when you play chords kind of, or something, uh, just strumming, uh, you're hitting this volume knob, so you need to do something with your hand, kind of somehow uh, pull it, so do whatever. <laughs> uh, I saw some people, they're putting their pinky finger somewhere behind. See, so, yeah, guitars kind of wants you uh, to change your behavior. Guitar wants you to learn how to play this. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's a kind of good choice for a beginner, because I just want to play. I don't want to learn how to play this specific guitar. And also, uh, this guitar has two tone knobs. <laughs> I, I believe one for neck and one for bridge. Does someone use tone knobs on guitars? <laughs> Why do we need two of them here? Uh, but never mind. Game. I like how it sounds, but definitely don't like the volume knob. And also, one more thing, not about this guitar specifically, but about all, guitar, all guitars with the Fender light bridge, with this uh, tremolo bridge or with the fixed bridge, is uh, those screws uh, which adjust the strings height, the action. Uh, when you would say want to set the strings low, uh, you need to unscrew them 
and they start scratching your palm, basically your hand. And it doesn't really matter if you play palm mute or if you just place your hand on a bridge and kind of playing across the strings, so it's still scratching your hand. So it's that thing I don't like about these bridges. But again, it's not related to this guitar. Now let's check the other four. And here's the rock guitar. Nice red color, this kind of red burst. And overall feels good. Nice and solid. Again, this brick. But that's kind of cheap bottom guitar. Don't expect anything else. And it has a uh, two single coil pickup and one bridge pickup. Like I mentioned, so I'm playing rock and metal. Uh, I need humbucker, so at least um, bridge humbucker is must have condition for me. And compared to other guitars, uh, this one has five way switch. So you can enable the neck pickup, neck and middle, uh, only middle pickup, middle and bridge, and only bridge. I'm going to check only uh, the first and the last position. Not interested in anything in between for now. And this is a pretty quiet pickup. Remember, uh, Jackson was super loud, but this is super quiet. Let's check the bridge. Bridge pickup sounds okay, so no concerns. Let's check the last three guitars. And here's the chord guitar. It's pretty light compared to the others. But I like this shape. And again, it has these bevels. So for my picking hand, for my fretting hand, it has enough space here. So I can easily access all the threads. And by the way, it doesn't have uh, this super huge brick. Still kind of a bolt on neck. But I think that's a good one. And next shape. Yeah, I like it. It's, I believe, very similar to Ibanez neck. The kind of thin one. I definitely like this, but let's see how it plays. It has a little buzz on the fourth string. Like, you hear this? <laughs> Uh, this is how it came. Again, I did not set the action. Uh, let's play one more time. I'll try to be more gentle. <laughs> you hear the sound. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> let's see. Maybe it will be better on this part of the neck. Let's switch to bridge. What? <laughs> uh, sounds pretty sick. <laughs> sounds weird. Uh, let's try one more time.
Yeah, definitely something wrong with this four string. Instead of a note, it's kind of whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely something wrong here. <laughs> yeah, that's fun, but that's impossible to play. And again, I plugged this in for the first time. I never played this guitar before. That's always a surprise for me. Maybe something wrong with this specific guitar. I would probably uh, give this guitar another chance. Overall, again. I think that's a good one, like the shape and pickups, they seem to be sound okay, uh, something wrong with that fourth string. If it makes it to the semi-final, I would probably try to set up this, starting from the neck adjustment, uh, intonation, action, all these things, maybe I just pick up a little as well. But let's see. And this is Dean Vendetta. Like I mentioned at the beginning, some of these guitars are pretty rare, under $150. And this is one of the examples. To compare, let's say, to Epiphone, uh, even Jackson, Ibanez, you can find a lot under $150 on the used market. And uh, Dean guitars, this Dean Vendetta. The new one starts, I believe, at uh, 190-200-ish, but for some reason maybe they're not so popular, so I was more kind of lucky to find this one. But it's still possible. So let's plug it in and hear how it sounds. And I need to fix a volume knob on this guitar. I can turn it on and off, so that should be fine for that review. But like I mentioned, all of these guitars, they are they're used ones. So most of them, they have uh, different kind of scratches, kind of tear, tear and wear. Uh, but some of them may have something broken, like this volume knob. But all of these guitars don't have any defect which affects the sound. Uh, that's the most important. Uh, let's check the clean channel and neck pickup. Sounds well, and I like the neck, so it's pretty comfortable to play. Yeah, it's, my item had the issue with the volume knob, but I believe it's again the issue with only my item with used one. And I should have uh, submitted a claim uh, when I only received this. I didn't check this. That was my mistake. When you buy a used guitar, don't forget to check it when you receive it. And yeah, look at this head shape, <laughs> a pretty interesting one. Let's check uh, the last guitar. And just look at this. This is a Harley Benton Progressive. I really like the color. And overall feels comfortable. Now let's check it out. And this guitar also has this five-way switch. So those are not the active pickups, they're passive, and I believe it can split those two humbuckers into single coil pickups. Not really sure how it combines it, but anyway, I'm going to check only the first and the last position. Again, I'm interested in the uh, the neck pickup 
and the bridge pickup, humbucker pickup. As usual, starting from the clean sound. Bridge pickup sounds pretty well, um, given how it looks, that's one of my favorite for now. So, the first round is completed. I have captured some notes on this whiteboard. That's what I told you about all these guitars, kind of the pros and cons. What I'm going to do now in the second round, I'm going to play these guitars again, one by one. Maybe just one riff, because this video is taking too long already. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with the gain and one riff. Because I already know some of the cons. I would like to see if they're really sufficient. And I'm going to eliminate six of these guitars. And again, it's just going to be my opinion. I'm going to say I like this guitar or I don't like this guitar. And the goal is to, uh, at the end of this second round, have only six guitars I like. Kind of eliminate the other six. And this will bring us to the semi-final, to my next video. And second round, I'm starting in the other order, from the last one to the first one. And this time I'm not going to talk a lot, <laughs> I'm going to play. Okay, I think I like this guitar, it made it to semi-final. And this time in the second round I'm going to use uh, these red and green markers. So, as you can guess, for this Harlow Benton Progressive I'm going to uh, use the green marker. So I'm saying yes, I like this guitar. Let's check the rest alone guitars. It's hard decision. To be honest, I don't know. I can't say nothing special about this guitar, what I like. Uh, it sounds okay, so it probably should have its chance for the semi-final. Let's assume I'll have more than six guitars. I still want to keep only six. I can probably use some other marker, other color, uh, maybe, let's say, orange one. So it's not illuminated, but I have doubts. Yeah, let's do this. So in, let's say if I want to see six guitars, uh, I can use these orange ones, or otherwise I'll just illuminate them. It's going to sound pretty weird because of the issue with the fourth string, but I'll give this a chance. I'll try to ignore this if it's possible. And... For some reason, it sounded much better than before. Yeah, I'm going to say yes to this guitar, even if this has the issue uh, with the four string, and I will try to figure this out. Overall, uh, the shape, the neck, kind of look and feel, and how it sounds, I like this. I would probably say no to this guitar. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with it, except maybe that neck pickup. Uh, it sounded kind of weirdish. Uh, but overall, so this has only 22 frets, kind of Gibson-like scale. 
compared to the other guitars which has 24. I like the kind of finish of this guitar, uh, but shape, I don't know. They prefer struts like shapes more. What do you think? Did they make the right decision? Let me know in comments. And again, even if I'm eliminating some of these guitars, you still can ask me to make a full review for one of them, or maybe even for all of them if you'd like. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Strings are a bit high for me, but to be honest, I don't want to set this up because <laughs> I hate this volume knob. See, I felt it during all the time I was playing. See, it's still there, it's still not comfortable for me to play. And maybe it's okay for you, maybe you get to this, and maybe you place your finger somewhere uh, behind or do whatever. I just don't want to do this. I'm saying no to this guitar. But overall, I should say, I like how it sounds, I like the finish, it's kind of comfortable enough. Uh, but volume no. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, I like it. It's comfortable to play. It sound good, so why not? It made it. I would say yes. Even uh, that's not the shape I like. Like I mentioned, Les Paul was not my favorite. That's still. Uh, it feels comfortable, it sounds good, so yeah, it made it. To be honest, I have doubts about this guitar. Like I mentioned, I was looking for the full size uh, Jackson Dinky, but accidentally bought this one. Uh, it has some cons, but sounds good enough. So I'm going to put this into that short uh, doubt group. Let's see what's happened. And again, not my favorite shape, but overall I like this guitar. Yes, you'll see it in semi-final. I'm saying no to this guitar, mainly uh, due to two reasons. Uh, the first one is this socket location, and the second one is this volume knob. Again, not really sure why they made this a separate volume for a single coil pickup, uh, but it's no. Yeah, I definitely like it. I think Harley Benton made a great job. For guitar under 150, that's cool. And let's finish with it. I have the last one. And unfortunately, I'm saying no to this guitar. It's kind of good one. The couple of things which I don't like is how it feels when I play sitting. Um, basically it's the shape of this guitar. And the second one is this volume knob. It's similar to what I mentioned on Mitchell guitar. 
it's just not convenient. If I want to turn it on for a bridge, I need to do some kind of weird movement. And it's not easy when you're playing. And most often I'm using a bridge pickup. And here's the list of who made this to semi-final. We have this Harley Benton Standard. Epiphone West Pole Special. Ibanez Geo. ESP LTD. This chord guitar. And this Harley Benton Progressive. And as I already have these six today winners, that means I'm going to drop this Jackson and Dean guitar from my doubts group. That was not an easy decision. Uh, again, let me know what you think in comments. If you like some of those guitars more, it would be interesting again to compare my choice with yours. And like I mentioned, there is going to be semi-final and then final. So subscribe to my channel, you won't miss any of this. Don't forget to hit the bell, YouTube will notify you as soon as it's ready. And of course, like this video, I hope you found this useful. And if you want to support me, uh, find the link to my Patreon below, where I can share different stuff, unboxing videos, tips and tricks, a lot of silly jokes. I would happy to see you there. Thanks for watching and see you soon.